What's up everybody and welcome back to a beer day with TK. It's a warm one here in Finley, Ohio and I'm hanging out in the beer shed getting ready to check out a new beer. Now the one I have today is called Nutter Your Business Peanut Butter Stout and this is from Grand Armory Brewing out of Grand Haven, Michigan. Now let's see what we got here on the can. It says creamy peanut butter milk stout. Stout with natural flavors, brewed and packaged by Grand Armory Brewing, Grand Haven, Michigan. Contains peanuts and lactose. And probably not a lot much more here. Now, this is a brewery I really don't know a heck of a lot about. I went up to Michigan yesterday with my wife and I picked up a few beers at the local, uh, it, was a, I don't remember, it was a Meyer. I think it was a Meyer. So I picked this up and a couple others. Um, like I said, peanut butter milk stout right up my alley. I have no problem with that. Um, never really heard of this brewery before, so... Very interested to try a new beer from them. Um, 5% ABV. Couldn't find anything on IBUs. Ratings-wise, does pretty good. Untapped was a 393. Beer Advocate couldn't find it. So, let's take a quick look. Poor and dark, as one would expect from a stout. I'm a big fan of milk stouts, dessert stouts, sweet stouts. That's exactly what I like. 5% ABV, though, is a wee bit low. I was kind of hoping maybe it would be dialed up a little more. 5% ABV, yeah. Nothing else on the can. Uh, color, if I break out my brew HQ chart, it's going to be 41 plus. This is black as night. This is opaque. Cannot see through it. Head, the head is somewhat, not as thick as I'd expect. I mean, you probably got about a half a finger's worth or, or two-thirds of a finger's worth of uh, nice tan head. It's kind of clumpy doing the island thing, but looks pretty decent. Give it a sniff. Now I'll say this. The minute I opened the can, I could smell the peanut butter, which is an inviting taste for me. I kind of like the, the I guess they're Reese's Cup stouts, really, right? It's kind of like peanut butter and, and, and nice chocolate. And I'm thinking that's what this will be. You get the peanut butter, not overwhelming, nice, nice smell to it. You get a little bit of chocolate. It smells good. It smells good. It smells like exactly what I like in a stout. Um, now, the one thing I'm hoping for, please let the body deliver. There's nothing more I hate in this world than when you have a beautiful stout with a nice flavor, nice, you know, smell to it, and then you sip it, and it's thin. And I know you're going to say, TK, isn't Guinness thin, and you like Guinness? And I'm going to say, yes, it is. And I'll admit it. It's kind of sad, but... Uh, Guinness is very light and watery, and I give them a pass because they're the OG. Other than that, I like my stouts to have a proper body to them. So let's see what we get with this. Slancha. Big old sip there. Body on this, medium. Definitely not full, but it's not watery. Um, it's a medium body on this is pretty decent. Flavors. Mm. The flavors on this hit, man. Try to see if there's anything else. I mean, creamy peanut butter stout. I don't know that it's super creamy, but the peanut butter stout you deliver on. It's got a decent body. It's it, it's a little bit creamy. Um, peanut butter comes through nice, and it's not again like fake sweet gross peanut butter it's kind of like a natural peanut flavor tastes really nice you get that chocolate sweetness to balance it out and it it works man it definitely works um i couldn't find anything on the ibus bitterness you do get a tiny bit now i will say this i think it might be more like a a, a roasty malt kind of bitterness than like that hot bitterness that you you might associate it with i mean i think you get definitely like the roasty grain here it's slightly kind of dark slightly um maybe a little bit bitter you pick up the peanut butter which is nice again kind of natural and you pick up the sweetness of the chocolate and i think those three things combine magnificently now untap had a 3.93 and i think that's a pretty fair rating i would probably go higher but i understand untapped you probably have people that hate stouts and drink it and say oh my god dark beer here's a zero right so that you have to kind of keep that in mind when you think about ratings. Somebody gives it a one or a two or a low rating is going to screw up the people that really know what they're talking about and actually enjoy these kinds of beers. Now, um, like I said, I think this delivers on everything that it said and is definitely a winner. So for me, Nutter, your business. This is supposed to be creamy peanut butter milk stout. Yeah, it hits. It hits. Um, 
the lactose for a milk stout isn't overly sweet either, which is refreshing. You know, this is a, a good beer. Big thumbs up on the beer. Hopefully you like the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. How do you feel about stouts? Do you like these big boy diabetes-inducing sweet milk stouts? Or do you like the other ones? Maybe more dry. Maybe like some of those, uh, the, the Guinness ones that are in, that are offered in the Caribbean or other places. Right? I know a lot of you are used to that kind of weak maybe watery down kind of Guinness, but there's some big boy Guinnesses out there too, right? There's a whole ton of Imperial Stouts. There's every kind of Stout you can imagine. What's your favorite style? I have to say, for my money, I love the dessert Stouts. You get that richness, but you get that sweetness. It's a win for me, man. So let me know what you prefer in the comments down below. Hey, till next time. Cheers.